Hello, I'm Mirish Griffin. I'm the assistant winemaker at Ridge Vineyards here at the Lytton Springs facility, which is located in the Lytton Springs vineyard. It's primarily Zinfandel. The plantings are mixed with its accompanying varietals, which are Petit Straw and Carignola. Getting into our winemaking a bit, we bring in the blocks together as a whole, process them after a heavy field sort, discarding underripe or unwanted grapes, and then finally harvesting the top quality grapes from the block. Once the grapes arrive at the winery, they're de-stemmed and the grapes tumble through and are lightly crushed and then pumped to their respective tanks where we allow the native yeast to perform fermentation. So all of our fermentations are done by the native yeast, which are on the grapes when they come in from the field. And when you're using one yeast, then you get the characteristic of, of one yeast. It's a, a more concrete benefit to a native yeast fermentation. After the primary fermentation or the alcoholic fermentation, we'll rack off the free run juice. Now during fermentation, we'll be pumping over that free run over the grapes in order to extract all of the phenolic compounds, all the, the flavor, uh, aroma, mouthfeel uh, components that are responsible for making red wine, red wine are in the skins. Running that juice over the top allows us to extract that and make wine. After that, we'll drain off, press the remaining grapes, combine that juice, and then allow malolactic fermentation to take place, which is a secondary fermentation that changes malic acid to lactic acid, and so softens the wine considerably. And that process can take anywhere from two weeks to three months, depending on the wine. Once it is complete, then we rack off and send it to barrels. So sediment tumbles out, all of the, the yeast and bacteria from the two fermentations settle out to the bottom of the tank. The clean wine at this point is racked off and sent to barrel. Once in barrel, it'll spend about 12 to 14 months and will be racked three to four times. During the barrel aging process, we'll go through and top each barrel. In our case, each barrel will be visited once a week just to top up the barrel, which there can be some evaporation that takes place during barrel storage or barrel aging. And if you have excessive space that's left from that evaporation, then you can have excessive air contact and the wine can be spoiled. In order to avoid that, we'll go through and top each barrel once a week to maintain a completely topped up vessel. So no matter what it is, if you want the, the wine to be completely full. After the 12 to 14 months of barrel aging, we'll then rack the barrels again up to tank and the wine will then be processed and bottled. So we'll do a light filtration and then a gravity feed into our bottled wine and it'll be bottled and, and cased up and sent out. And that's an overview of, of our winemaking process.